large city and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> no dancing for Dodge. Not till Friday night there wasn't. I'd gone out to see a rancher friend that afternoon, and it was near midnight when I got back, rode up Front Street. Saw a small crowd that had gathered opposite the Long Branch. I dismounted and walked over. At the center of the crowd, I found Doc and Chester crouched over a man sprawled in the dust. A man somebody had put a bullet in. It's Ben Williams, Mr. Dillon. Who did it, Chester? Nobody don't know. He rode off too fast. Anybody see it? Miss Kitty did. She's standing over there by the Long Branch now. Uh, well, he's dead. There wasn't much I could do for him. Nice fellow like Ben Williams. Never hurt nobody. He bled to death somewhere inside. Was he conscious at all, Doc? There he was a few minutes ago. I've been working on him for a half an hour, Matt. I, I had to leave him here in the street. I didn't dare move him. Did he say anything about about who shot him or why? Well, do you know somebody called El Cater? El Cater? Uh, that's a town, Doc, not a person. Oh, well, if you're trying to say something about it. All I could make out was the name. Uh, I didn't want him talking anyway. As I recall, Williams came from up around El Cater, didn't he, Chester? Well, he had a little ranch up there one time. Yeah. Ben Williams was a good man. Yeah. Chester. Yes, sir? I'm going over and talk to Kitty. You find me a fresh horse and saddle one of your own. We're going to be riding out of here in a few minutes. Yes, sir. I'll hurry, Mr. Jones. I hope you'll get him, Matt. Yes, Ben didn't deserve that. Not being killed that way. He didn't deserve being killed at all, Kitty. Oh, of course he didn't. How'd it happen? Well, Ben and I were having a drink inside, and we heard a couple of shots in the street here, and then somebody yelled for Ben to come out. The man who killed him? It must have been. Ben didn't want to go, but I guess he figured he had to. I got by the window, and I could see Shippen out there sitting on his horse. Shippen? Blue Shippen. That's what Ben said when he heard him yell. Uh-huh. And then what happened? Well, Ben walked out into the street, right up to him. Shippen must have been holding a gun in his lap. He shot Ben twice without saying a word and then rode off. He murdered him, Matt. Can you tell me what Shippen looked like, Kitty? It was too dark. I don't even know what color his horse was. Yeah. Well, that's not going to make him very easy to find. But you find him, Matt. You find him. <laughs> to the north. 
There was a saloon there and a restaurant and a hotel and a stable and, and miraculously, a telegraph office. But even so, El Cater didn't add up to much. It was still the crossroads of nothing. It was noon of the second day when we rode up the almost deserted main street, hot and saddle-weary and hungry. Where are we going first, Mr. Jones? Yeah, we'll put our horses in the stable, Chester, and we'll take a look around. I've already seen all I want to this place. Except maybe the inside of that restaurant. You know, I've been thinking, Chester. Maybe we'll stop there first? No. No. I've been thinking about Lou Shippen. Oh. Yeah, I finally remembered. I've seen his name. You yeah. have? Where? He's wanted over in Wichita. Trouble is, I can't remember his description. That's easy. All you got to do now is telegraph for it. Yeah. Nobody here at this table? It doesn't look like it. Now here comes somebody. Yeah. Howdy. Hello. So you got room for a couple of horses, mister? I reckon. We've had a hard ride. Hey, wait a minute. What? Where'd you make this hard ride? Where are you from? Dodge. You're the marshal. Yeah, that's right. I thought marshals always traveled alone. Sometimes they do. Well, I, I tell you, marshal, I got a little mixed up. I've been asleep. You see, you woke me. And I plumb forgot. Forgot what? I can't keep your horses here. There ain't no room. You just said you could. The, the stable's all full, and I got no corral. Yeah, I can see some empty stalls through the door there. Oh, oh them spoke for What is it, mister? Everything was fine until I told you that I was a marshal. I can't help it if the stable... Now, going. these horses are going in there, mister, and you're going to feed them. No. We're going to be back directly to see that they're all right. You believe me, they better be. Outdoors. Morning, gentlemen. Uh, hello. We're looking for a room. Yeah. You mean two rooms? Yeah, well, all right, two rooms. Of course, uh, one room would be cheaper. And noisier. My friend here snores. <laughs> oh, you always say that, but I never heard me snore. If I ever thought you were lying awake snoring, I'd ram a gun barrel down your throat. And now, now, gentlemen, yeah, please. Oh, you don't mean it, do you, Mr. Dillon? <laughs> Dillon? Marshal Dillon? Yeah. Is something wrong? No, no, no. You've been expecting me. Is that right? Uh, I, uh, I never heard of you before. All right, that's one line. Now you tell me another one. Have you ever heard of Lou Shippen? <laughs> Shippen? No, no, no. Not around here. I never heard of him. Sure. All right, let's see the rooms. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry, Marshal. I made a mistake. Uh, I forgot. Uh, there's a lot of people coming in tonight, and... Uh, our rooms are all taken. A lot of people coming in from where? Yeah, that's true, Marshal. I forgot all about it. Well, you just go on forgetting about it, and I'll throw me a couple of keys before I lose my temper. We're here, and we're staying. I swear I'm beginning to feel like a frothy dog, Mr. Dillon. Like a What? You know, one of them flavoring dogs that runs around biting people and making them sick. Oh. I've never been treated so bad before in my whole life. It's Lou Shippen, Chester. Hmm? He's here somewhere. My guess is he's told everybody in town that they got to get us to move on. Well, why would they care? He's a killer, Chester. They know it and they're afraid of him. Something? Yeah, I want to send a telegram. You do? Where to? Wichita. Here, I uh, wrote it out at the hotel. 
sheriff, which it took. Sheriff? Just send it, will you? I have to read it, don't I? Need full description of Lou Shippen. Now, what's the matter? Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, send to me in El Qaeda at once. Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Look, mister. It's Hinkle, Marshal. Mr. Hinkle. All right, Mr. Hinkle. Now, you're going to send that or am I going to have trouble with you, too? Trouble? Now, I know Lou Shippen's got this town scared to death of him. And maybe it's about time I made some of you people scared of me. I might as well start with you, Mr. Hinkle. Now, Marshal, I, I don't want any trouble. I, I'll send you a telegram as soon as the line's free. Come on, Chester. Shouldn't we have waited to make sure he's really going to send it, Mr. Dillon? Uh, he's not going to send it, Chester, and there's no way I can make him send it. Why not? I don't know Morse code. He can send anything he wanted. Yeah. Mr. Dillon, this town scares me. Any man here might be loose shipping just waiting for an easy chance to shoot you in the back. And i got an idea how I can smoke him out, Chester. I'm going to have to tell a few lies to do it. Yeah. Right now, let's get something to eat, huh? Mr. Dillon? Oh, what? The way they eat. That restaurant puts out the mustiest smelling beef do I ever smell. How is goats do, Chester? Goats? I need a drink. Yeah, here's the place to get it. either, I suppose. Oh, shipping. No? No, I don't know him. Well, he might be one of those men sitting at that table behind me there. You better do your drinking someplace else, Marshal. There isn't any other place. Now, you fetch us a bottle of rye or I'm going to come back there and do it myself. I aim to have a drink. Telegram. Now that's the truth. I didn't send it. You sent it. I stood there and watched it. No, but I didn't. You sent my telegram, all right, and we're going to have an answer by 10 o'clock tonight. Now, you're lying. That isn't true. I'd be wasting my time here if it wasn't true. Now you drink up. Drink up, Mr. Hinkle. I'll be over about 10, Mr. Hinkle. I'm coming with you. Now, what's the matter? Are you afraid of shipping? All right, come on. But I'm not going to wait around your office with you. You've got to help me, Marshal. You kill me now. All those lies you told. All right, which one is he? I can't tell you. Why not? 
He's a devil with a gun. He could kill you, and then where would I be? All right, it doesn't matter. I'll find him later. But I didn't send any telegram. There ain't going to be an answer. It doesn't matter, Mr. Hinkle. What are you going to do? Well, for one thing, I'm going to see you in your office tonight and let you stay there. That's all you've got to worry about. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> He was going to shoot Mr. Hinkle? Yeah. You think you killed him? I don't know. Watch it now. So you're Lou Shippen, huh? You're outsmarted me, Marshal. You was lying about... About Hinkle sending that telegram. Yeah. I had no way of knowing for sure. Why did you kill Ben Williams, Shippen? I never liked him. You killed him because you didn't like him? Good reason as any. Kill a man. Oh, my goodness. Why did you stay here in Al-Qaeda? Why didn't you ride on? Here's my home, Marshal. Nobody going to push me out of it. Except you. You you pushed me all the way out, Marsh. I swear I never heard nothing like him, Mr. Dillon. Well, he must have been plumb crazy. He's probably killed a lot of people we don't even know about, Chester. Now, for no better reason. Then it's a good thing he's dead. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it is. by Norman MacDonald stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Vic Perrin, James Westerfield, Harry Bartell, and Ben White. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke.